Hello, welcome to Physics World. Our day starts with observing different things outside, like walking of a boy, a student running on the road, a moving car, a moving auto, a moving truck, etc. If you watch movies and TV channels, you can observe that motion of a satellite, motion of a rocket, motion of planets around the sun, especially our planet Earth around the sun. If you observe all these types of examples, you can observe that all these are not the same type of motion. They are different types of motions. So why do you have different types of motions? Or at least you should know that what type of motions generally we observe daily most of the times. So to explore these things, let us start the chapter called motion. Let me write the types of motion. A moving car it is linear motion and a moving bus on the road what type of motion? Yes, you are correct. It is again linear motion. At rotating around the sun. What type of motion? Yes, it is Circular motion. Okay. You watch cricket many times. Yes. So then, see, a batsman hits the ball. Batsman hits the ball. What type of motion of the ball? Yes. It is curved motion. Right. Now, a football player hits the ball or a football player kicks the ball, then what is the path of the ball? Football. Kicked by a football player, what is the path of the ball? Yeah, maybe this type of, uh, yes of course you are correct, it is curved motion, but specifically it is called projectile motion. A spring is stretched and released. Then what happened to spring? The spring will move back and forth. Motion of a spring. What type of motion it is? Yes, it is called vibratory. Or you can say oscillatory. There's a slight difference between vibratory and oscillatory, but here we don't discuss the difference. But vibratory or oscillatory is nothing but back and forth motion. I can say to and fro motion, like motion of a pendulum. So once you check all these examples, you get to know that we are not having one type of motion. We have linear motion, circular motion, curved motion, projectile motion, vibratory or oscillatory motions, etc. Different types of motions we have. But in this chapter, our focus is on linear motion. Before discussing about what is linear motion, let us have get understand about the difference between rest and motion. See the diagrams here. A person P, a person Q. This person P is at the location O at the position O at time t equal to 0. Now, the time is increasing 2 seconds and then after 4 seconds and later 6 seconds. Even though the time is increasing, the person P still at the same location O. Then we say that the person is at rest state. Now see the person Q. The person Q 
at O at time t equal to 0. After 2 seconds, he is at A. After 4 seconds, he is at B. After 6 seconds, he is at C. So when the time is passing, he is changing his position. The position is changing. Then we say that this person is in motion. So the difference between rest and motion is rest means if any body doesn't change its location with respect to time then it's called rest let me write here body does not change its location with time then it is rest now motion body body changes its location with time then we say the body is in motion so it is rest and this is motion now tell me after watching this part of some of this video you need to know that what type of state you are in? You are in rest state or you are in motion state? Think. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.